Ladies, gents, and nons, he won. I'm so happy for him. Um, he got sixth place, actually. He won! I have this writing style I like to call uncertain. It's where the narrator isn't really sure what they're talking about either. That is so powerful, and I want to write a short story in this style now. Thank you. The park had been there for as long as I lived there. I think. I couldn't be sure. I was never one to go to the park anyway. Nobody has any clue what's going on. Ah! Self-aware, unreliable narrator. Love it. Warning, too many feelings today. Please pick your top five emotions. Any more and we get confused. Me nearly every single day. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name is the Egyptian word for cat. Did they name it Mao because that's the sound a cat makes? Okay, now I'm just imagining a very early Egyptian encountering a wild cat for the first time. What the fuck are you? Meow. Oh, okay then. Didn't realize Egyptians were Pokemon professors. A concept. Teen horse girl movie where the horse dies an hour in, and the second half is the girl learning occult science to reanimate it so she can win the big derby. Coming to theaters, Necroprancer. You can't beat this dead horse. The word Doritos, with the diminutive suffix Edo, implies the existence of a larger chip. I intend to find this mythicer chip, this Doro. Ah, a noble quest. It's a shame, though, for it has been found. I'm just saying, if you add two pounds of sugar to literally one ton of concrete, it will ruin the concrete and make it unable to set properly, which is good to know if you want to resist something being built. French anarchists used this to resist prison construction in the 80s. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, reblog this for purely educational purposes. <laughs> My friend read an article about octopus intelligence. It was feeding time, and the handler dumped some shrimp into an octopus's tank. Then he went into another room and sat at his desk. A while later, a shrimp was tossed onto his desk. The octopus, upon finding one bad shrimp in the lot, had grabbed it, escaped its tank, crossed the hall, and threw the expired shrimp at its caretaker. Not only does this showcase their problem-solving capabilities, but also that it could have escaped at any time, it just broke out this time to chuck an off shrimp in indignation at its handler. That's not just intelligence, that's a human-like reaction. Kinda makes you wonder exactly how smart these guys can be. Oh. My god. Got one of the smartest octopuses in the world and turned out to be a Sharon. Okay, I went to the aquarium once and we had a tour. And we walked past the octopus tank and it was duct taped shut. So I asked why and the guy was like, well, we had a problem before because these fish were disappearing randomly at night and we had no idea why. Turns out the octopus had memorized the night guard's rounds and would creep out of its tank, crawl across the floor to the fish tank, have a little snack, and be back in its own tank with the lid shut before the guard came back. They are super smart. I love octopi so, so much. I am both delighted and fucking terrified. One more story. Once I went to the aquarium where they had a baby Pacific red octopus in a tank. I had gone there to work on a few real life sketches. Obviously, I wanted to do one in an octopus. So I kind of just kneeled in front of the tank and started sketching. The octopus didn't mind, he just sat happily. Then five minutes later, he started moving in front of the tank where I was. This tiny octopus faces me directly and starts posing. I don't know how other to explain it, but he started curling his tentacles in this really graceful way, then wouldn't move for a few minutes. Then again, a new pose. That tiny cute motherfucker knew I was drawing him. God damn it. Why are octopi such big brain? I love him now. You say chunk of ice, I say vegan pizza. So I heard the TV in the background of a drawing and a movie came on, and it started with Walt Disney saying something like, I'm Walt Disney. And I immediately said, you're watching the Disney Channel. I've got some kind of allergic reaction going on, and my face is just breaking out in a bad rash. And my mom's freaking out and wants to take me to the ER. And my dad was like, hey, let's not make any rash decisions. And we high-fived, and now my mom is yelling at us. Good dad. Probably should take you to the hospital, though. I eat a lot of bread because it's soft and I deserve it. Also, I'm gorgeous. Hmm. By my calculations, I diagnosed you with PIGEON! What if all your Tumblr followers actually followed you in real life as a hallucinations or something? You know, nothing out of the ordinary. 
I don't know who this is about, you or me, but it concerns me either way. Like I said, your DNA contains millions of years worth of software updates. Nah, man. <laughs> Your DNA contains millions of years of totally random bugs, some of which don't really change anything, and some of which are really bad and annoying, and some of which miraculously make the software work better. So, I'm a Bethesda game. When you become famous, you're called a legend because your leg ends. What? Your leg. It ends. I'm not a linguist, but I think that's wrong. Are you saying your leg doesn't end? I mean, at some point, it does, yes. Then what's the problem? You know what this reminds me of? <clears throat> the leg!